people are of two kinds, either your brothers in faith or your equals in humanity. We want to create a center where a non-Muslim as well as a Muslim feels, this is my center, let me walk and participate in the activities. We have a choice. We can either live in our own little bubble or we can be part of the society that surrounds us. If we're a part of the society that surrounds us, it gives us a chance to open a dialogue. We can start talking about the values of Islam, which are dear to us, but little known in the West. By having this community center, we're able to show all of this. We're able to interact with the wider community. And by doing this, they can see what we're like. They can learn more about Islam. But as well as that, they can learn to have fun with us. They can learn to see that we can be their friends as well as just this concept of a Muslim which they perhaps don't truly understand. I'm really excited about the Salam Centre. I think it'll be a beacon uh, for the rest of the world, not simply for the community in Harrow, not just for the community in London, but for the communities all around the country and the world. It's an example of the Muslim community not only looking after their own, but looking after and offering things to others uh, as well. A 22nd century building in the 21st century in the heart of London, what else could we ask for? We were quite keen also to incorporate the um, sort of uh, Islamic mashrabiyah concept. Although the building has a kind of an outward appearance, um, the way the light goes through the mashrabiyah creates um, a mix of patterns which are changing during the day as the sunlight changes. People are going to look forward to the sports facilities, the cafe, the restaurant and also the library where they can do some work. This centre is going to be unique. It's going to be at the forefront of the new world. It is a centre which will bear unimaginable fruits over decades to come.